What's up guys welcome to a very special episode of tips and tricks and today we are tackling hyperforce yellow ranger so without further ado we're gonna dive into this character but first i want to show you this rita match that was pretty damn cool to watch and it was awesome to see but what hyperforce bulk hyperforce bulk actually has he has a 32 percent health pool and 44 percent strike and breaker damage that is some really heavy talents for this character and his speed and, I guess, model makes up for it. So, you know, in this match, we love the hammer adjusts. I try to go heavy breakers on Rita when the match starts because you never know if they'll have stunning jolt ready because it's usually that case. You know, and that's what I like about the hammer. It just works. It gets the damage in. The hammer of justice is one of the strongest attacks right next to Korai's Mystic Strike. It works really well. And pretty much right there was a the situation I wanted to show you why Bulk is amazing. Jack D. Thomas. He legit headbutted Rita for freaking free before the balls came out. And all I can say to myself was like, this right here is the coolest thing I can see any character do. Now you see that double shield helps me out because A, I got instant blocks for days. And I can get a free block in because obviously he's going to wait. And with the hammer of justice by your side, you're able to get past a lot of things. And believe it or not, Bulk can really man up and get the job done, believe it or not. He can destroy meta if he feels like He's come here to bring the hammer, the ban hammer. And he's going to bring justice to this game. So without further ado, let's get this started. I got three builds set up for you guys. A lot of them will be like strike based. Obviously, we always include the F2P team in this build because F2P is still busted. So we kind of still run with it, believe it or not. We have to just because it's for all the newcomers in the world. Anyways, let's get this started, Bulky. So we're fighting Gemma. Double strikes, I like it because that gives me some motivation for work. Oop. Oh, he would start off with a dang shield. Oof. Oh my god, I hate that thing so much. And then after you ram rush him, go for the Hammer of Justice because God knows the Hammer of Justice is life. Oh my God, him and those insta blocks. Ooh, I had a shield, I think. Oh, F you, Alpha. All right, I think we still got this, honestly, if we can just get this attack off. There we go. And after you, Tommy, use the Hammer of Justice to maximize damage output because it really works, kids. God, every time he gets the insta block, like every single time. So weird, man. It's so weird. Insta blocks every time, man. It's like Bull can barely do much because I have to use an assist to get out of it. But in the end, I still get hit and I still get comboed later. Jamma starts off pretty strong in those situations, but in all honesty, I couldn't really do much because. No, I think I could have, but unless I have the Ram Rush, I feel like that should be the attack you should start off with every time the match would start. Because if you have Ram Rush, I would say go for it. Bulk does have some good, unique tech to him. It's the fact that when you start the game off, usually your opponent could start off with just their usual breakers and shields. And when Bulk does his thing and does the Ram Rush, well, you kind of get a better gist of what this character is kind of going for here. And that's Ram Rush into the Hammer of Justice. And the Hammer of Justice is just like an amazing attack, very well made by the creators, and it was like awesome for this concept for this character in general. So I appreciate how this model came out. Red butt, shoulder tackle, and you can just do that free shield attack. That's why I enjoy bulk. It's the fact that that shield attack doesn't really give you that slowdown tech. It gives you like some good momentum. So I got this headbutt, right? And he didn't block it because the headbutt is like, it's it's like really good if you can't see it coming. I could have taken advantage of that, but you know what? Shoulder tackle! Head, well, you know, shoulder tackle, ram rush. <laughs> now I activate polymerization, fusing my movie red shoulder tackle and Sledge's shoulder tackle to form ram rush. Yeah, I had to go Yu-Gi-Oh there. <laughs> 
But, you know, this character doing what he does with that Ram Rush, kind of getting in on opponents when their energy does slack is awesome. Because you do force their hand to use a strike. And when they don't have that energy buildup, you kind of try to hit them with another strike or another breaker as fast as you can with that said build. All right, so we're fighting this Gemma again. I think we got this one if all of our moves, like, get there. Perfect. He fell for it. That's all that matters. Use that Tommy assist. Oh! Oof. That screwed me up. Oof. That dashing, though. Thanks for poking me. And when he pokes you, you can go in and go in just with those characters. Especially that Ram Rush kind of gives you that oomph. Watch out for direct game, kids. Ugh, I blocked that so bad. I'm so mad. It's so sad because I did block it, and that's what I'm mad about. Again, that's why I like Bulk's little shield. It helps. Oh, I'm screwed. Oh, oh come on. If Korak did that, he'd get free stuff. Perfect. Now I can do the Hammer of Justice. That range is legit, like... 50-50. Gotcha! Headbutt for the win! Good job, Bulky. See, that's the thing I love about his shield attack. It, it, Believe it or not, it's like really good, and depending on where your distance is, what I did there was kind of smart on my part, because A, I was able to get him in the punch without him blocking it, and B, I got the freaking hammer time in, a.k.a. the hammer of justice. And it just kind of helps with this build. Because you got Tommy and you got Kimmy. You got Tommy for those nice kicks that kind of get you to do your shield combo. Even though his energy does tend to go up a little slower. But it doesn't really matter because this character is good anyways. He needs a little bit of a slowdown for as much damage as this guy can do. He knows what he's doing. He Bulk knows what he wants to do in a match. And he wants to kick ass. And just take names. And I appreciate that about Bulky. Because Bulky is GG's. A.K.A. Mr. Jack D. Thomas. Hyperforce Yellow. I appreciate his Ram Rush. It's, I mean, it's a better version of every shoulder tackle in this game so far. Because it's it's cool. It It's awesome. Like, you never see it. Hey, we released at the same time, man. Headbutt. Hit ya. It's not going to work. Yeah, flex. Don't let me gain so much energy. That much I can say. If you let me gain too much energy, you're going to have a bad time. Because all I need is like one punch. Oh, God. It's movie black. Oof. Ow. That hurt. Ram, headbutt. Stop it. Stop it now. <laughs> but I do appreciate um, a lot of what this character kind of brings to this game. I mean, I mean, we've been dealing with such like a Rita meta thing that, like, believe it or not, this character could ram on Rita with that sh his shoulder tackle being what it is and catching up to Rita on distance from Rita recovering from what she has. That's why I kind of showed you that match in the beginning because Hyperforce Yellow was really freaking good. If you get all the moves, if you time everything just right, knowing what your opponent could possibly have in this hand, this character can do miracles. I swear, I'm just going to be fighting Gem all the whole time, huh? Oh, there's that direct aim. You see, that combo is so freaking free. It's ridiculous how free it is. Damn, you try to do that. You try to do me dirty. But I got you with that combo, though. And again, why do I like that freaking uh, Tommy assist? He covers the range. Wow, that missed, though. Headbutt. Oh, Watch out for headbutt can be very blockable. You need to watch out. And Gemma still is still one of the most OP characters out of this bunch. Yeah, had that coming. 
had that coming. Gemma, I feel like when she dropped all the characters after her, kind of were like not up to like her type of meta standards. That's why people like Gemma a little bit more than usual because direct aim is free. You can get into breaker easily. You can get insta blocks from her breaker. Yeah, Gemma has been like one of the most like play, played pretty much one of the most characters that people would like get because of direct aim because it's better and it's like not easy to block so i mean i don't complain about it it's just it's just how it is but i mean bulky can get in there if all your moves like i said come together because you got to deal with direct aim which means you got to see it coming like if every move was readable every character would be usable but that's not the case in this situation bulk brings a lot he does do a good amount of stuff Damage wise and play play style wise, this character puts in the work. Like he doesn't really take crap from nobody. All right, we're finding a guile, so we all know where this is gonna go. So we're gonna just freaking ram him as best we can. Oh my god, why does it look like I get like lagged out? Oh my god, that hammer of justice might need some speed, guys. I'm. Am I really getting a six band right now? My breakers. Hold up. If you're going to spam breakers, that means you got a shield in your primaries. Checkmate. Told you, checkmate. Hammer of justice, spammer. Oh, it's G GG's, by the way. <laughs> you used EX, all of your attacks are shields? Yeah, GG's. <laughs> yeah. That's another thing I kind of like about them. Jack over here. He knows how to kind of get in on those types of turtle plays. Shield heavy characters like that, definitely Jack has more beef with. So let's get our next build. The FTP team. Y'all know that team. Y'all know it's amazing. Y'all know it works and y'all know it does the most damage. Because he pretty much sets Jack up for all of his moves, all of his tech. You get one shield in, you can move black into the Hammer of Justice and pretty much just go from there. Jack is just being Jack. He likes to do his thing. I swear this gem is going to be in this entire video until this video is saying beat this Gemma every time. Headbutt. Perfect. Now if only I can build this shield up a little more. Oh, what the fudge? Oh, that was nice. Oh, yeah, that's a good shoulder tackle. Got another shield ready. Sweet. This, you know what the sucky part is? I didn't get uh, what I kind of needed. Oh, you're a little late there, pal. Hammer of justice. Gotcha. Not this time. That that time I was prepared. Gotcha. Oh, God. Not good. Not good, kids. Punch. Ooh! Ram headbutt! Get pwned! Again, why do I like this character? It's for stupid stuff like that is why I love this character. What I did on that Rita at the beginning of this video, we just did on Gemma trying to do direct aim. I gotta say, man, this character... Oof. This guy... This guy brings some really good hype for his series. Hyperforce, all that stuff. I mean, let's let's be real here with this dude, man. He is he came out great. He may have two breakers, a shield, and a strike, but to believe it or not, it's all good tech. Just give him double strikes if needed. Just make him feel like he's Predazord. But you know, instead of Preda, you just kind of give him like a double strike at the end. But you know, the F2P team never seems to fail. It's like one of the greatest, godliest assist teams in the damn game. And, you know, I wouldn't expect anything less that would help out our boy Jack here for some good wins. Oh, goody. This is going to go a couple ways, and I'm going to try to go it my way. Here we go. My way. I was trying to shoulder tackle. Didn't work out. Oh, that sucked. Bad. That sucked really bad. Yeah, I had that coming. Bulky became, becoming predictable like that can be an issue. Oh. Oh, my God. One, two. He wasted a good amount of... Yeah, yeah, he still had enough energy for all that stuff. Really, game? 
Where are you getting the energy? Like, I really just want to lose this match, honestly. Like, the, the, the energy output is just insane. Whoa there. You, you know what? You were playing so good. Don't do that. I had more respect for you for that. Shoulder tackle? Up. Oh, someone got a shield in their primaries. What were the odds? <laughs> Let me ask you something. Everyone watching. What were the odds he got the shield in his primaries? Oh, my God. That was hilarious. Good game. Crazy game, but you know what's so funny? He did so well until he used Gold Zeo. That's where you done goofed. That's where you done goofed, my friend. You did so well. If you didn't use Gold Zeo, I think you would have had my ass really bad. Mm -hmm. But you know what? That's the point about Jack, man. Once you get a shield in your freaking primary, and you're basically a breaker shield character, Jack's going to capitalize the hell with that shoulder tackle. Because Jack has really good rushdown. I swear, it's just this dude like 24-7. <laughs> Alright, here we go, guys. Up, oh, yep, there, that's a free hit. Oh my god, come on! Direct aim for free. I'm telling you, man, Gemma just is like free. Like, do you understand what I mean by free? I mean, it's like everything she does is like free out the box. Like a box of crayons. Oh my god, she was waiting for that direct aim. Why are you turtling with Gemma? Oh my god. <laughs> There's one thing I know a lot of people just realize is that Gemma's just still too stupid. She's OP. She really is. Direct aim is like way, way, way too free for that character. I mean, if I could, if I could be totally honest, oh my god, that move could. It's like it's good in a lot of ways, but if people complain about direct aim too much, I would feel like the only way to nerf it even harder would be to make it a four cost. Now, that wouldn't really kill the character. It would just limit your options on combos. Again, Gemma is really damn good. But Hyperforce Yellow is a very good close character as well. If you can block Direct Aim, he's a very good character. Very good. Oh, yeah. I swear, it's Gemma Day, man. It's Gemma today. What was last time? Korag Day? Oop. That missed. Oh, no, sir. Not today. Hammer of justice. Man, you're level three. Eh, it's fine. There we go. Rush it. Rush it. Eh, summon Kimmy. That was, Kimmy was like the better option. Nice block. Put me in the free zone. Get your energy back. Oh, yeah, totally. That works. I mean, you're wasting a lot of energy. That wasn't going to work a second time, by the way. <laughs> Believe it or not, I hate to tell you this, that was not going to work a second time. Yeah. But, you know, works a second time, doesn't work a second time. Still Jackie doing work. You just got to understand how Gemma works. I mean, if you can just predict direct aim, like, you'll be set. So in this build, we got Cat for shoulder tackle purposes. And, um... Pretty much like an insta strike. And we got Tommy on board. Uh with this assist build, I mean, it's got the momentum to work. Because A, Cat is a pretty good insta strike, just in case you find something heavy breaker-ish. And if Cat comes out in time, you'll be able to go into shoulder tackle into your shield attack if necessary. Which is why I like this sh the shoulder tackle being F4, because it still gives you a good amount of combo potential. For, again, what it's worth. So we're fighting Korag here. So let's see how this goes. Oh, Shield Bash already. And you can summon Tommy. Because I can summon Tommy too and use Cat if necessary. Ooh, Shield Bash. Cool. Boom. And summon Cat.
Oof, had that coming. Kick. Using that kitty to her full potential, kids. Oop, kid strike. Gotta love kitty, man. Get blocked for free. Let's go. <laughs> Not this time. Um, how did I, uh, how I won that match was through like kind of like there was obviously assist spam because again I couldn't get in. But what I did notice about his play style was he was being a, l a l pretty much aggressive. So if I just kind of closed the gap on him, I had a feeling he would try to attack me as fast as possible. So again, that's like another like lesson about this game. If you see your opponent does kind of get that heaviness, like get that greed in his eyes, just, you know, I feel like you'll be safe because you just run in there and just block and just go ham if necessary. But again, that's why I enjoy the cat assist. Good damage, helps out with the combos, gets you out of those insta problems so you can, you know, do work. Cat's good. Oh, God, I swear this gem is going to be the nightmare of me. Here we go. Boom! Hammer! Oh, oh my god, I almost saw that freaking miss. Justice. Oh my god. Yeah, that's free. Gemma and that free damage. You might as well have just made her Phantom Ranger 2.0. How'd you build up that much energy? Oh my god, I hate Gemma so much, guys. Oh my god, direct aim again. God, you can just do so much with this character. It's so stupid. <laughs> Gemma's just... She's just too OP. I, I don't blame, like, Scrinoid for wanting Gemma more. <laughs> uh, I, I don't blame him, honestly. Like, Gemma just does it. It's just Hyperforce Yellow. I mean, you gotta block... The only thing that Gemma really has to her kit is direct aim. If she doesn't have direct aim, this character will kind of slowly die but until then we're gonna enjoy the Gemma meta furthermore in the future when people buy more boxes she sells well and anyway gives us rpm gold with better stats who knows maybe it'll happen but you know that match i was just like huh direct aim again of course why not so round two against this guy so here we go Let's see if it works again so you got that shield in, perfect, and we're going to get that shield in again for maximum damage output. Now, my issue here is, okay, he's going to go for that. That doesn't help his case. Now, I can do Tommy into that, into the Ram Headbutt, trying to keep my strikes intact. See what I mean about, like, him getting aggressive? He's not really waiting it out, and I appreciate that. But now I can move and do what I got to do in my matches. I mean, that's interesting. I mean, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, I'm not going to hit him on this one. So we got another shield bash into movie black. Obviously, the go two here. And he had a shield in his primaries. Makes sense. GG's. <laughs> if, you, if you ain't striking out that shoulder tackle, you're going to get screwed up, boy. You're going to get screwed up. I'm telling you, man. Hammer of Justice is a very key attack for this character. Now, I think the one thing I did notice in this game is that the hammer is kind of slower than Gemma's ice attack. Because, you know, I saw, did my uh, hammer first before the ice, I think. And Gemma kind of went off first. So I was just like, well, damn, that was busted. Ugh. But Jack is just, I feel like came out as, again, another great character. Maybe not above Ranger Slayer. It just depends. But I'm going to be fighting this guy like 24-7. There we go. Hammer of Justice. I'm lucky to even pull Cat off at the beginning of this match because the rest of the match is going to go like poopers. Shoulder tackle. Thank God I got Insta Blocks. Keep in mind, you have Insta Blocks too. Just make sure you use them at the right time, kids. Boom. Summon Tommy. Boom. Okay, he's got a shield in his primary, so he would have used his primary by now. Oh, that secret tech. Bulk's ultra tech, guys. Don't forget it. Oh, you did have that attack, so you don't have a... So your sis slot is, like, in a nut nutcase. So you blocked, used that. You're kind of... 
How are you not short on energy yet? I'm so freaking curious why you're not short on energy yet. Where are you running off to? You scared of the hammer of justice? Don't bite. And just kind of cat assist that for game, because right now he kind of went for direct aim. So like I said, I like cat assist for that speed too, because AKA, you counter Gemma with it, it's awesome. It works. <laughs> Best way I can put it. See that match, after so many matches of like kind of understanding Gemma and what you can do, understanding Bulk's really good tech is the shield into the big horn attack. After that, Gemma thought you were gonna freeze, get frozen, it did not happen. And since again, those attacks cost three, you can still go into your Ram Rush if anything, which is awesome as well. Keeping it, keeping it Jack real here, it's just how he is. You know, he's not bad. And that's the good thing about him. He's perfectly balanced. And like, you can really enjoy that. The Hammer of Justice, you know, especially when you can beat up like Korax and just kind of do you. Well, you wasted a good amount of energy. Oh, I got Tommied. And I got Movie Black, really? There, oh! Oh, come on, game! Don't psych me out like that! You made me think he got hit! Oh, wow, now he gets a breaker again, and I'm, like, sitting here like, here comes Tommy. Oh, damn, you just got rejected. Oh, another hammer! Doses, baby! Doses! Yeah, that kind of happened. Yep, that's happening, too. He shield bashed. Wow, get screwed. Another shield bash into Tommy. Yeah, work. See, that match, I was just like, huh? What happened? What's going on? But the game psyched me out right there, and that's why I lost. Because the game showed me, oh, I hit you. And then the game said, no, you didn't. I'm like, I hate you, game. Why did you? Why do you got to get my hopes and dreams up? And obviously, we got the last pretty much another good build we can use is pretty much a Trent build for like damage output with like cat if necessary and we'll do like one with Tommy as well. Uh yeah, I think we're making this tips and tricks pretty nice, I think, I believe. 27 minutes, yeah. We'll do like um two matches with the Trent build with Cat and two matches with the Tommy build. But you know, Trent can be good too in the sense that you can save your shoulder tackle for another rainy day after using Trent in to, into your hammer. Or, you know, just using Trent in general and then going into more of your um, primaries. I mean, Trent does really good, like, damage. So I don't put it past you guys to not, like, put this character to some use. Because he is the demon. He is the Whale Slayer. And he's always been known as the Whale Slayer for a while now. Just like um, how he is. Believe it or not. Alright, our boy Jackie ready to fight. I mean... Magna Defender, I mean, I can probably give Magna some props. But it's good that you have, like, a strike assist kind of on the back burner here. Damn, reject, <laughs> rejected Xandrid. See, right here, I'm kind of stuck. So, him having a shield in his primaries was kind of funny. I didn't want to believe he did. Oh, it's Xandrid. Holy crap. Xandrid for saves, man. Well, you know, summoning, Tommy, summoning Tommy's not going to help like that, though. I hate to say that one. <laughs> I mean, maybe Magna versus... Uh, I don't know. I feel like Jack would have stuff on Magna, but it would depend if his... um. I would have to say his primaries get locked up, but then again, that's why you have, like, double strike meta. Just in case you fight people that are heavy breaker-ish, like Gold Zeo and Magna Defender and Lord Draken. We'll throw him in there, too. But, yeah, Jack just... He came out really good. I mean, he's no... I mean, Gemma... I know, like, Gemma was kind of, like, a big breaking point in this video because all we saw is Gemma and every match was, like, really kind of close to call depending on your setups and what you can pull off. But, you know, it wasn't all that bad. It really wasn't. Like, I appreciate uh, the most that Jack can do on his own with characters and what really works with the character in general. So, we got a double yellow team, so that's awesome. Oh, damn, you got HP on that yellow team. Hallelujah. Oh, I screwed up big time. So, 
So, you know, we're going to go in for that ram attack, but now we're in a big screwy situation where we have double breakers. Ooh, that was a good read. Doubles, let's go. So, like I said, you can go into Trent for damage and freaking the hammer time to maximize the final damage output. As you can see, the damage on that was intense. Shoulder tackle! I mean, ram rush. It's just, it's just who he is, man. It's all about that ram rush. Once you pull it off, you can do damage. I mean, as you just saw, like, in that match, you can see that if you use Trent and then go into the hammer time, it's going to be a really good amount of damage because they're both breakers, and Trent tends to favor breaker damage. And that's, like, his go-to for uh, even this character because he's heavy breakers. So giving your breakers some oomph, but the reason why people use movie black is because of the breakers, is pretty much what this character is all about. <sighs> Just saying, like Jack. I mean, we climbed the ladder pretty high with this dude, but we did that with Shadow Ranger too when he released. But we always do the ladder pretty well with these like characters in general. I just feel that um, Jack's in a really good place. I don't see him getting nerfed anytime soon. All of his things are like perfect. All of his moves are like in that good sync. Because honestly, it gives this character what you would look for in a character. And that's like the best way to put it. And fighting Gemma is just not fun these days. Eat it. Dang it, you and your freaking bullcrap. Block. And I got another shield. Let go, homie. No. Hammer of justice time. Hammer of justice. Oh, my God. Direct aim. God, it's just so free. Like, the damage and the combo potential. Like, ugh. Like, probably, like, the only attack I'm ever going to get in. I mean, Bulk tries to capitalize with all that heavy stuff. I understand. Wow, really? You can eat that shoulder tackle. Yeah, I'm I'm like dead. This is why you need double strikes. <laughs> this is why you always like technically need like double strikes for this character. I mean you you're witnessing in first hand why you would need double strikes. Cause right now Gemma trapped me in a corner. I had the hammer. If I had shoulder tackle, I would have been more brave with it, but I didn't. So I was kinda screwed on that situation. Cause I could have got hit either either way. So let's put, um, oh wait, we're already, we're already playing Tommy. Oh, let me play him one more time. And yeah, this is pretty much Jack, man. Now, I mean, he's going to have some of those matchups where it's like weird, but you already know how the matchup could always go because A, if you know the character, well, you know most of it's going to be in that character's court with direct aim. Some of those instant attacks that can get on Jack will be one of his issues. But B is that this character feels so S tier that I don't even see that and I just think his character is good if you just know how to block a good insta attack this character is like redonkulous and can do heavy damn damage on you when he freaking feels like it that's just my opinion and we're gonna beat up this power dweeb I think yes he's got a lot of HP so yeah power of Trent power of the ram I mean, as much as I wanted to Trent, uh, that can be saved for another time. Oh, there it is. And like I said, when you're wasting all that energy, you're going to have a bad time. And again, Trent adding more breaker, more like power to the punch. It's just, it, it's what this character is all about. He's going to press an attack button. I have a good feeling he was going to press it. But all, all in all, this character came out what you all would expect. And the Hammer of Justice is what we all wanted it to be. And Hyperforce Yell being this good shows us how great this character is. So I just want to say thank you guys for watching. This tips and tricks on your boy Hyperforce Yellow. Definitely a great character to play with. Definitely can get work done. Just that Gemma was all over the place. Special shout out to our big boy, Marcus Worry. Be good, friend. Take care. 
Hey, you know, one of our little random shout outs. To, I see that people that donate, you know, we'll give that Loba Rosa another shout out because he's been keeping up with some donations. So you deserve it. And stay tuned for our shirts, guys. Again, brought to you by Marcus Worry. So we're going to get some shirts and some nice merchandise coming soon. So peace out, be good, and I'll see you all another time. Oh,